How do other countries take their eggs? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're about to try an eclectic mix of egg dishes from around the world, but before we get our dart on, today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. You ever been in a recipe rut? Um, it's the worst kind of rut. You wanna feed your family, but you don't know what to cook. Oh, I, I have heard of this, but how bad can it get? Well, I and my family, along with me, experienced the great nut rut of 2017. Nothing but Brazil nuts for an entire year. <laughs> yeah. The great nut rut. Yeah. Bizarre. Mm -hmm. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items each week, including vegetarian, calorie smart and gourmet options providing plenty of variety. And as fall transitions to winter, there's nothing better than cozying up to a comforting home cooked meal. Recipes like chicken ramen and shoyu style broth or turkey ragu gnocchi mm. make it a no brainer to skip on paying for takeout. Listen, I tried to make Brazil nut stew in the winter of 2017, and boy, it was a rough time. In your nut rut? <laughs> yeah. Well, unlike Rhett's Brazil nut stew, HelloFresh has more five-star reviews than any other meal kit, so you know you're gonna get something delicious like this Italian chicken over lemony spaghetti. You like that oh. lemony spaghetti? It's a little bit spicy, a little bit nicey. I like it. So. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code GMM14 to get 14 free meals and three free gifts. Ooh, three free gifts? Mm -hmm. That's HelloFresh.com and use code GMM14 to get 14 free meals and three free gifts. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. All right, by my latest count, there are 81 distinct egg preparations in breakfast alone, and then on top of that, Eggs sneaking to the salads, they're all over the place. And if by place you mean the world, well, you would be right. It's time for Where, Where in the World Do These International Egg Dishes Come From? You know how this goes. We're gonna try an egg dish hailing from somewhere on the shell of our planet, also known as the crust, and somehow we didn't use that for our sandwich episode, but here we are, and it's egg time. We're gonna throw a dart at the country we think it's from, and then Chase, our chicken man cartographer, chicken is gonna man. measure how far our dart is from the right answer. Shit, what? what? Uh, that was a rooster, sorry. Er, 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 oh, he's really going all out for this one. <laughs> Whoever has the lowest score at the end wins, and since I won last time, <laughs> Rhett gets a special advantage dart, which is the under easy, an egg thrown underhanded like a softball pitch. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. A la Jenna Purdy style. Oh, she's a softball expert. Oh, yes, she is the pitcher. The loser has to walk barefoot on eggshells in Good Mythical More. All right, let's get cracking. We got two eyeballs here. And a little cup. This is like a... Oh, it's like a little? Oh no, is this a yolk? It is just a yolk? I like the white part better. Hold on, who in the world <laughs> likes the white part of the egg better than the yolk part of the egg? Me, I'm Maggie. I, is I this saw a her thing? hand go up. I think I, I think a lot of people are grossed out. It's by the gross. I it's, think people are grossed out. It's by gross. It. But the, this is the baby part. No, this is what the baby. This is what the baby eats. Actually, oh, you've already eaten. Well, just be the baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really. Just be the baby for a second. It doesn't taste bad at all. It tastes like a custard. It tastes like a straight up custard. Oh, it tastes good. Doesn't it taste good? I like the yolk part better. When it's candied or whatever that is. Now, if you didn't watch Good Mythical Evening, mm. sorry, you missed out. But one thing that happened that night is we actually, um, we brought in Charles Neal, that's uh, Link's dad. Yeah. Um, and, he, and he told us some dirty jokes. And you know what? I was able to negotiate with him and negotiated a new rate. Um, but he, he was willing to be a part of it. So he is joining us from the woods. Hey, Link's dad. I'm still out here in the woods. Frankly, I'm lost. Oh, you are I heard that? you boys were still telling dirty jokes. I got a few more up my sleeve. <laughs> I guess For we... my birthday, my friends gave me a bunch of old dirt. I told them, I appreciate the sediment. <laughs> ah, you get it? Because it's like sentiment. <laughs> Hey, you get to go first because you won last time and I get to listen to your reasoning out loud. That is not how this works. I won last time, so you get to go first, so I get the advantage of hearing you talk about what you're aiming for. Oh, right. That's a dessert, wouldn't you think? Well, the fact that it's coming in this like little pastry sort of feel, 
I'm kind of in like a spawn, spawn Spain. So I'm just gonna go with Spain because I have no other reason to believe anything different. Oh, a little bit high. You're closer to Norway and the United Kingdom. I mean, it could really be anywhere. Russia's so big. And if I don't Russia, think so. <laughs> all right. Maybe Brazil? Uh, yes. Oh, there we go. That's what I was thinking, And Dad. I think you can actually hit that. Okay, Dad, this is for you, buddy. <laughs> Whoa, oh, man, you get all your, it's a big, it's like one of the biggest cut, you almost hit it. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah, they like, they like sweet yolks in Brazil. Yes. Right, <laughs> yes. You guys just had yemas de Santa Teresa, oh, which are candied Brazilian. egg yolks made with granulated or sugar Spanish. and then topped with powdered sugar. This delicacy has a rich history and is usually associated with the Castile, the birthplace of St. Teresa, which is located in Spain. You lucky dog. All right, Rhett, you had six, and Link, sorry to ruffle your feathers, you had 27. Oh, he's gonna have chicken puns. Okay, we've been told that this next egg dish will be made table side. Hopefully, not by one of us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Here to prepare hey. a table side egg dish. Hey, Josh. Table Let's side egg dish for real? Rassle that out. There's that. the egg. Whoa! Oh, did you eat? Whoa! Yeah, kind of like a table side Caesar, but uh, maybe a little bit grosser. Uh, Josh, I don't know much uh -huh. about cooking, but you left the shell in, and you just added. Mm -hmm. Is what that coffee? To be coffee? I cannot give any context clues, um, but if you want to jump in there and kind of smell it, give it a whiff. That is what I the can chef... smell it from here, and it smells like coffee. Well, you didn't tell me you were gonna pick it up too. Yeah, I was gonna kind of just like do one right. of those, like a hard. Okay, like okay. they do with tables like guac. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. You know the sniff test. <laughs> just like shove it in your face. <laughs> what is that? Vinegar. Water. Mm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now you got something boiling over there. It's uh -huh. really steaming my boy's yeah, face. Yeah, should be facing that. Oh yeah, his water. beard's gonna fall off. <laughs> that's that's also beard. water. That is correct. You know it's fake beard, it's that time of year. Link, do you see what's happening here? What? The egg is separating and coming to the top and forming a foam of sorts. Would you call that a foam? I cannot confirm nor deny that as a foam lest I give you any context clues. We wouldn't happen to have one of these that's already made, would we? No, 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 I just, I kind of thought we'd have some nice little bonding time here. Do you have I, any questions about like my personal no, life? No, no. Oh. We can shut this off, but we gotta wait uh, about 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 ten minutes. Is it over? Yeah, this is all it does. Okay, good. So I can open my eyes now. Why does it look? It just looks nasty, Josh. I gotta be honest with you. Look, man. Oh, mm. okay. There we it's go. It's a drink, but you don't even really need to strain it, except for all that stuff. Like then, yeah, I guess you would. There it is. All right, I'll see you guys. Have fun. Have fun. Okay. So basically, now we drink. <laughs> he made coffee. Uh, he made coffee that's got some egg and some egg shell in it. Dink it. And sip it. Um. It just tastes like bad coffee. Yeah. You've taken the lead, so. Uh, I'm starting to like it, though. You gotta go first. Now, Link. Uh, you and I have traveled the world together. The world. We've been everywhere. One of the places we went together, if you remember, is Sri Lanka. Aus Australia. Oh, we did, yes. Link's dad, you remember when we went to Australia together? Yes. And? Why did the astrophysicist go digging in the dirt? Why? He was looking for wormholes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when he cracked himself oh, yeah. up. You, you found that one funny. Yeah, yeah. That's, you know what? Some of the best comedians laugh at their own jokes. <laughs> Somebody has. <laughs> there you go, Dad. That's right. What I was gonna say was we traveled to Australia and we were just blown away at the coffee culture there. I didn't taste any but egg. But we didn't have any egg coffee. Boy, if it was Russian, if it is Russia, I feel like I could hit Russia. I know. It's like I could hit Russia. It's begging to be hit. I think I heard a wild animal. <laughs> oh. That's just because he's in the woods. Well, be safe, it's not, a, it's not a setup for a joke. I mean, it's just a fact. Do, do you have anything to protect yourself, like a knife or something? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, do you even have a water bottle out there? I sure am a dirty boy. <laughs> That's not the type of thing I wanted. Okay, tell me. With, with that, okay. I, Link, unfortunately, I'm gonna play it, uh, I, I can't make a decision between Russia and Australia, and so I'm gonna aim between them. 
play it safe. Uh, All right, go for it. And that opens the door for me. <coughs> okay, you're closer, closer to, to Australia. Australia. You got coffee, and then you're just adding egg and the shell. I feel like this is Brazil. I don't know. I just keep looking at Brazil. Dad? No. Oh. But last, did he, did he steal you wrong he last said, time? He said, yeah, he did. I'm going for Brazil again. Oh, a little high, but that might help me. It might help you. It's said that artisans first used eggs to absorb the tannins and impurities that typically create bitterness with low quality coffee. If you'd like to enjoy this drink in the States, go find yourself some Lutherans and hang out around after their Sunday services. Yes, some, yes, some refer to this drink as Lutheran church basement coffee because it was brought over by Lutheran Scandinavian ancestors in Norway. Oh, Norway. We're both so far away. Yeah, but you made up I some ground. I think I may have ma done something. You made up some ground. Maybe some significant ground. It's hard to tell. I mean, there's some significant grounds in this coffee. Rhett, you had 43, and Link, you had... What was it? <laughs> Chicken man. Chickens are known for their memory. <laughs> 24, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Look at that, is this like a hat? Once you eat it, you got a yarmulke? Well, oh, you're gonna pick it up? I'm gonna try to. He's gonna pick it up. Yeah, comes right up. Oh, can I do that? You can. I think it's just, I, can. I think everything about it is just straight up egg. Nothing but egg? I think it's, it might be nothing but egg, but let's give it a taste. Cause like this part, yeah, I think, yeah, you're right. No, that's a that's a bread product. That's not egg, I don't think, unless that's what happens to egg when you- No, you're right. Thin. And you know what, if it you like good. the white part of the egg better, uh, that's okay, that is okay- Now you're back To have a differing, well, cause I realized I said, who likes, and then I'm gonna get a bunch of tweets that are like, me, 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 me. <laughs> so I'm spinning it to say, you can like whatever you want. And I respect that. Thank you. Thank you, Stevie, for doing that. <laughs> I tried some of the yolk because I, I wanted to see what it was like on Stevie's side of the street, but. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if this was done in a bowl, like if there's a special bowl that this is done in, or if this is done flat and then it's baked and it peels up. I don't know why it feels like there would be like a pan like this in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? Uh, yeah, or, definitely, or is, definitely. Or is it, Brazil still calling kind of, your name? It probably is. Oh, he's getting close to Nigeria. Dad, are you thinking what I'm thinking? No. Good, because I was thinking Brazil. I gotta keep going for well, Brazil. And eventually we'll be right. Brazil. Yes, and I hit it. He's That's in, it. Yeah. He's in this Brazil. This is what I'm going for, he's guys. I'm feeling it. What you just Excellent. had is known as an egg hopper, an egg nestled in a coconut milk and rice-based crispy bowl-shaped crepe. Rice. The egg hopper is a street food specialty enjoyed in Sri Lanka. Oh, Ooh. dang! Ah, the old Brazilian miscalculation. All right, Rhett, you had 27. Link, you had 46. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. Oh no, that's sardines draped over uh, what looks to be a nice soft scramble. That is some sort of uh, a flatbread of sorts. Yes. Spongy. Yes. And then we've got. I'm going to take a nice little corner edge here. Is that a, it's a sardine or an anchovy. Oh yeah, is it an anchovy? That's an anchovy. Good gracious. <laughs> They're putting anchovies on eggs, Charles. No. <laughs> yeah. I know, that's what I'm saying. So if Norway had not been done. You'd be talking about Norway. I'd be talking about Norway because you've got this dried fish stuff. I don't know, maybe Russia. What else? I got nothing else to go on here, but I'm gonna try to do a little bit West Russia. Hmm. Oh! That I, was a nice I'm shot, dude. in Russia, but close to many other answers. All right, so I don't think you're right. Okay. You think it's Brazil, huh? This could be the UK. I just don't know where where people are just draping full anchovies over stuff. I just think it's the UK. I, I, be, I bet you they've got uh, yeah. drapery happening. Draper, Fish drapery. drapery. They're known for their drapery. It's close to yours, but I gotta play defense here. Oh, Whoa. that was close. That was a nice throw, son. You just, yes, so you what? 
I just would like for my dad to like praise me occasionally. Good job, son. Can you say that? Good job, sir. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, we had to. Sound like it came from somewhere. Well, let's to, see. Dig a little deeper for that one. If you deserve the praise on this one, because that was a dish of soft scrambled eggs on toast topped with anchovies. The first documented recipe for this dish dates back to 1861 in Mrs. Beaton's book of household management, known as the Scotch Woodcock. The dish is a time honored snack in the United Kingdom. Ah, Link. Nice. Yeah. Made up some ground. All right, in the penultimate round, mm. Rhett, you had 10, and Link, you had three. Uh, mm, 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 not mm, enough mm, mm, mm. to make the dent I was hoping for. A big ball of something or other. There's a lot of stuff in here, Link. Well, first of all, here's an egg, sorry. There's, there's the egg, there's check. There's more eggs. And here is a... Just straight up chicken wing, straight up mushrooms. I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste some of this broth. I think that's gonna tell us a lot. Oh, that's good. That is good. It's, it's a little gravy-ish. There's no noodles in the bottom. There's nothing but meat, eggs, and some sort of, what is that, parsley? I think that just might be a garnish. Mushrooms, yeah. but really it's that sauce it's, that's gonna give us the info. 14 centimeters separate the two top. Okay, I'm in the lead, I gotta go first, but I have, because I lost last time, I have the under easy uh, I'm gonna bring Jenna in to consult with. Uh, Jenna, uh, you've got some softball experience. Yes, yes, I do. Because the under easy is an underhand toss at the map. Now, you weren't the pitcher? I will say I was not the pitcher. So I said you were the pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> underhand is, is new for me. This will be, I called my sister-in-law, she was a pitcher, so she gave me advice. Oh, uh, Link, would you be opposed, would it be outside of the, you know, the out of bounds? for me to just let Jenna do the throw? I mean, does that violate any rule? Well, I would like to defer to my forefather. No. No what? You don't mind? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. He doesn't mind. So he doesn't mind. So we can let Jenna do it? <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm gonna move back. Okay. So Jenna has an egg. Okay, Jenna, okay. I think that this has a, it has an Asian flair to it. Uh, like if it had noodles in it, I would just say it has this like, it has an umami taste to it. But here, I'm gonna point where I think I want you to go because okay. it could also be an Eastern European thing or even an African thing, right? Uh -huh. So I just feel like if you just sort of aim for the Indian Ocean uh -huh. and you get splatter all around, I okay. think you've got, uh, the base is covered, okay? Yeah. So can you, I mean, I, know, I don't know how precise you are, but you're gonna be more precise than me. So whenever I mean, you're ready. I got, I got the hip power. I think I, think I can do it. Okay, all yeah. right, okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay. I believe in you. Hip power. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, oh yeah! yeah! Yes, <laughs> I'm gonna call my sister-in-law. Look at that. so happy. We have covered all of Asia. <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. I way hope it's Asia. I way hope it's better Asia. than I could have ever done. And you know what? We we got wow. there. We got close to Europe, and we got almost. We got some. We have a streak in Africa. That chicken and egg soup combo has a little umami thing happening, and you are draped wow. all you, over it but with that you Jenna egg. I mean, but the only way I can win is if you're wrong. Correct. I agree with you, but I'm going to go with the Caribbean, I, it's or like, as we like to call it, the Caribbean. Right there. I love you. There we go. I love you too, man. <clears throat> That's not a bad guess. That could definitely be Caribbean. It would explain why there's no noodles. Oh, a little high. Shoot. Okay, this is called Kai Palo, an egg stew consisting of hard-boiled eggs cooked in a soy sauce-based broth along with vegetables or meat, usually chicken wings or pork. Coriander seeds, chicken stock, palm sugar, and seasonings. This hearty dish is enjoyed by the people of Thailand. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, Dad, you remember Thailand? Yes. How do you say it? <laughs> well, the thing is, is that um, we did ask for him to say it, and he chose not to say it. So we. So isn't that right, Charles? Dad, you chose not to say Thailand. See you later. <laughs> well, that, that's how you get him to leave. Ask him to say Thailand. 
Well, yeah, he has a sore spot for that, I guess. Yeah, he's, he's Come like, back, Dad. He's like, I'm not doing that. I, I, I'm, I know my standards. I know my limits. Rhett, you hit it. So you got a goose egg. Woo! And Dang. Link, you had 52. Oh. And that's Ooh. the end of my yokes. Uh, oh! oh, oh. <laughs> hey, keep on coming. We got any more yokes from Charles? Sorry. I'm all out of jokes. Oh, he's so sad. What? How did... We shouldn't have asked him to say Thailand. I feel bad about that. We'll send you a care package in the woods. Got to figure out your address, though. Chin up, Dad. You'll be all right. Hey, boys. Hey. It's me, Link's dad. <laughs> See? He's back. Total reset. He's back. Congratulations, right? All right, Link's going to have to walk on eggshells and good mythical more barefoot. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Gabrielle. I'm Lauren. And we're at the National Art Gallery in Washington, D.C. And this is a big blue rooster. <laughs> it's, it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. You know, just cutting a fool in front of the... Big blue rooster. Yeah, that's what you gotta do sometimes. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us discover the world's strangest animal eggs in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. We're bringing the heat with our newest mug, the GMM Heat Activated Mug with an image that changes when you add hot liquid. Get it now at mythical.com.